Hey guys, hope all is well. This video is about recognizing patterns. So as guitar players, we have the great benefit that the guitar is a very pattern-oriented instrument. And sometimes even before you learn the notes in the chords, uh, I think it's important to know all the notes on the neck, but not necessarily as important to look at a chord shape and go, that note's a C, that note's a knee, that note's a D, or what have you. But almost more important to me is understanding where the one, three, and the five are in each chord based on the shape that you're playing. So if I grab a chord and I go, okay, your index finger right now is the, is the one, your ring finger right now is the third, and your middle finger right now is the fifth. Now that's very helpful because then you can find the first, third, and fifth of any chord anywhere in the neck based on the chord shapes that you're playing without actually knowing the notes that you're playing right off the bat. And the reason why I like that is because uh, ones, threes, and fives all have different tonalities and how you shape these chords, if it's three heavy or five heavy, will really determine how your guitar pops out in the mix, uh, either if you're playing chords or lead lines. So again, important to know, all right, if I'm playing and if an A is being played right now by the band and I want to find a third of an A really fast, how do I do that? I think the best way to do it is to understand where the one, three, and the five are in each chord shape that we're already used to seeing. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here's the idea. We know that chords have a root, a third, and a fifth. We might not all know what notes comprise each root, third, and fifth in every single chord, but we do know the shapes of the chords that we play all the time. So it's helpful to recognize where the root, where the third, where the fifth is in each of those common chord shapes that we see all the time. So I'm going to show you a few here to give you an idea of what we're talking about, and hopefully it's helpful going forward uh, as you're able to apply this knowledge. So let's take our basic A shape here. We're going to move it up to D so I can uh, better demonstrate this concept. So in D, we have the root, the fifth, the root, and the third. So if I look at this shape, I know it's root, fifth, root, third. If someone says, hey, in an A chord, I want you to play the third and make it prominent, you now know, moving it up to this A here, since it's root, fifth, root, third, that the third of an A is right here, in that shape. So then the third of an E would be here. The fifth of an A would be here. The fifth of an E would be right here. That's that visual thing I'm talking about. Root, fifth, root, third. Let's move on to another shape. Now we'll look at our normal bar chord that we all know This that's derived from an open E here. And this shape, it's root, 